Welcome to a process video. I have taken security envelopes, scraped paint and, an, and made painty paper. And I'm going to show you how I turn the painty paper into printed sheets to use to use in any creative project and this is well, here's the original one of the original it's got all the texture and you can print on different sizes of different types of paper and I'll show you how I use those in my my, in my art and even on furniture <laughs> so uh, um, yes let's let's scrape paint first that's always fun it's nice nice and easy scraping paint is really relaxing There are no rules. It, there's no rules in our creating anyway, because it's it's when we experiment, isn't it? That uh, that we find out our own style, our own way of doing things. And the great thing about scraping paint is that. It's not that messy. Just put it, got a little bit of paint and it dries very quickly. And as you can see, I'm just going to build up layer after layer of colour. And that's dry. That's dry already. You sort of scrape it until it's dry. I'm using acrylic paint so it does dry fairly quickly. So yes, scraping paint to start with and then we'll start to do some printing. We'll find some things around the house that we can print the paint with. So this is, ah, oh, this is just such a relaxing way that we can spend a bit of time together. <laughs> oh. First of November. Wonderful. Yeah, just like scraping it all around. Uh, scrape it all across. Oh, we could add, you know, I might just add a little bit of blue to this one. You can see this is very relaxing. Very relaxing. And you can scrape it all the way down. Sometimes these papers aren't going to be used like a master board. We can rip them up and put them in our journals too. Let me show you the piece of furniture that I made from, from a little vintage vintage drawer set that we bought back from the charity shop and here's the little cabinet <laughs> i've just decorated one drawer front i've left the handle because it's so beautifully vintage uh, you don't want to see the basket above you do i know it's just full of mark making mark making things <laughs> bit of a mess but 
Uh, hey ho. In the drawer, and there's some paint in there. And it's got one of the little sheets underneath as the drawer liner. <laughs> Here's Sam carrying the cabinet back from the charity shop where we'd found it. <laughs> That's classic Sam. He had to carry a huge barbecue back once for for, for Ben. <laughs> a close up view. This one's ready to be doodled with the Posca pens. There's the glorious Posca pens just there. <laughs> yeah. They're at the various stages. Oh, this one started to be printed on. Wonderful. Keeping it really simple today because, of course, the doodling part of this you can take your Bosca pens in the pencil case or basket and you can you can take it to the sofa or out into the garden. And do the doodling. Doodling is so relaxing, such a joy. This is lovely. A lovely way to spend some time together. Oh dear. And as you can see, it dries so quickly. And let's, I can pop some on here with the leftovers. So I'm not getting in a mess at all, am I? <laughs> Don't speak too soon. Hmm. I think that's lovely and bright. Hmm. The desk is getting piled up already. up and scraping it almost till it dries. The idea of painting on the security envelopes, we had it as a prompt a couple of weeks ago and this was from AJ's Inspired Life. <laughs> she does this so thank you Alison <laughs> and I wrote it down as a prompt to remind me to keep doing it. Now, is, as a background, has that got enough on? I'm just looking at this one. Let's see. Let's say it has. I'm going to come in with the jelly plate now. I'm only using the jelly plate as a palette. <laughs> ah. some black on, roll that out, I'm brewing off, let me show you, let me just show you here, um, this is an amazing junk journal, junky junk journal that lovely Barbara Every made for me and I'm filling the pages with wipe off. Look, it's got lovely, made with lovely newspaper. And I'm putting painty paper, making painty paper backgrounds on there. Let's have some wonderful heart bubble wrap, shall we? And again, we're going to just build up the layers. Oh, joy, absolute joy of the painting. Painty paper of the printing. And then we'll sit and have a lovely coffee together and do some doodling. How about that? Here. Oh I love that. Put some on that book. We don't we're not wasting any of the paint. <laughs> Let's soak up this 
soak up this black on a piece of paper. Ready for the next colour. That need that's not dry yet. Probably needs to dry a little. Oh, do you know that's a lovely background? Now, if I add that's lovely, if I add some copper or gold to that, that is lovely. I'm making other painty paper from bits of scrap paper as I go. Now, which colour next? A darker blue than that one. Let's have a look. Let's try the darker blue because then we can we can lighten lighten the lighten it up later. Because of course this is this is literally just pure playing. I'm wearing that off onto my lovely Barbara journal. We can use that. Oh, we can use that journal as a glue book later. I've got a cotton reel here, lovely vintage cotton reel, but the co I can't use the thread because it's too brittle. When I touch it, it breaks. So I've just been using this side as a printing tool, and then it can be displayed this side. <laughs> to tell me in the comments what you're what you're doing with envelopes I know I'm literally just watching a video by Kerr down at the lake I'll link her she's making she has vintage stationery which I know a lot of us love and she's making journals from the envelopes and I know a lot of you do do that that's lovely. That's added a pop of colour. And these circles are just so lovely to doodle on. Let's, let's see what print we get from that. Envelope here. That's a nice, a nice background and beginning for an envelope. That's lovely. That's that could be a nice sewing theme envelope. This paper, thicker, it seemed to pick up better than the thinner, thinner paper. Interesting. I'm thinking. Let's add a pop of green. Let's do it. I keep some of the printing things on a ring and hang them up. Just keeps them handy so I can I can get to them. So let's that's the coffee. I like I like that because it gives little dots. That's the it comes the insulating aspect when you buy a cup of coffee. <laughs> see what this green does. It might, yeah. <laughs> ah, I love it. Lovely pea green. That roll off again. Oh, I think I might roll off on the side of this envelope. Oh, like that, just put a little bit on the envelope and lots on the magazine. Mm. Let's come in with that. Oh, and they make, oh, look at that. Just delicate green. Look 
little dots. I'm loving that. For me, I think it's time to come in with, I'm just going to do this envelope as well. Time to come in with some white. Hmm. Bring that colour up and some little dots on the envelope. <laughs> ah. The white I have is chalky gesso. That's fine. Use what you have. Let's scrape that onto the plate. Trusty bubble wrap. I love it when the bubble wrap is in an envelope shape and you can just print like that and pop it in your hand. I love that. Great. Because we're going to come in with white pens as well. Oh, lovely. Let's put some... white bubbles on this envelope. Oh, that's lovely. I usually do collage envelopes, but I think maybe a painty envelope this time is going to be effective. Hmm. Wonderful. That's the thing, when you, when you make up, when you do Painted paper, you end up having lots of other things as well. All the wipe off paper. I love the, I love the sound of these envelopes too. A nice weight of paper. I'm thinking now, what else does that need? Let me come in with this one. This is my finished one. I got colours in the background. That's lovely, this teal. And I'm quite liking that pink. Hmm. I'm I'm going to go for more pink. I'm loving that. I'm gonna mix some pink. And some white. Mm. And see what that does. Mm. Mm, that makes a nice, makes a lovely colour. Some pink on the envelope. Find something else to print with. Oh, what about a large circle this time? This is this is the lid of the candle. Let's see if that works. Oh, lovely. Three, four, five, yeah, balancing. some lovely 
lovely papers here. <laughs> Got in a right old mess, haven't we? So, let me see. I'm going to let that dry and then we can come in with some Posca pens with that later. My trusty Posca pens here. <laughs> and it's just a case of finding a comfy place to to sit and doing some doodling. What a joy. <laughs> going around some I'm going around some cotton reel circles here. Pink with a pink. <laughs> I'll pull you in closer. And you can just go on and on like this. <laughs> Get the black out. No rhyme or reason. It's basically, basically, I think I'm mark making. I think that's what I'm doing here. Just literally, anything goes. <laughs> this pink is really lovely. I love it. Quite white, but a very light pink. Hmm. Well, I know you like to see little Freddy there. We had a knock on the door. That was a neighbour asking us to sign a document so we've done that made another cup of tea and yeah <laughs> here we are oh. I must put the lid on that Jessa actually uh, what's on what's on your desks this week or in your work baskets and I know some of you are having quite a week some people are away from home and others are just feeling up to do anything and that's fine sometimes it's nice to have a week where you just relax and watch other people do the crafting <laughs> that's what I say we'll craft so you can just relax <laughs> I like the white pen and I'm thinking I need a black pen as well because I'm going to go around some of the white bubbles in a black pen you can see how relaxing this is And they're finished when they're finished, when you want to. You could sew these up, make them into a journal if you wanted to. The world is your oyster. Maybe that's the, that's why we like uh, creating so much. The, this is your art. 
sometimes you don't have a lot of control over life but this is something we can control we it, it's ours we can we just do our own thing There we are, I can hear Fred's breathing in the background. <laughs> Is he dreaming of autumn walks in the wood? Let me show you. We went on this walk in the woods and I was I was amazed that the the leaves are holding on the trees. This was literally just last friday on friday and it's tuesday today tuesday the first and i yeah i couldn't i couldn't believe it how it's still quite green up at the woods let me show you no, it's, it's not very often up here is it i no, it's quite no green. not as much as lloyd park i don't think although our lovely Isn't red tree is getting oh, thinner oh, and thinner yes. Seriously, yeah. I, I went back this week, and I, after a week, and it's like dramatically. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's very it's exposed. Shed. Shed. The trees shed. I think it's dead. Yeah. 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 No, put them right down. <laughs> put them right down. It's a tea towel, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, Ben who's died that. It's a rainy day and just so nice to snuggle up here with Freddy. <laughs> oh, you can see the palette in the background. Rescue that. That's going to become something. <laughs> We're just seasoning it for a while there and thinking, pondering what we can make. Nice and sturdy. Yes, yeah, I'm just going to be doodling away here. I had a thought. Could even use, fold up these envelopes and use them as an envelope to send happy mail in. <laughs> oh dear. Just a thought there. <laughs> So have a good week, have the best week you can and I'll see you in people's chats and come to the lovely art community where there's always people there to, that care and I will see you, I'll see you soon. We're going to go out. We're, it doesn't stop us going for a walk. This is early Tuesday morning. We're, we're just having our second cup of tea here. We're going to go out for a walk in the rain. <laughs> it won't stop us. <laughs> I think the lovely thing about going out for a walk in the rain is 
we get home and, and we get all completely wet we can just just put my pajamas on <laughs> Mm. Well, take care, everyone, and thank you for joining me for this very simple and relaxing process, really. <laughs> take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>